So SMARC-A4 mutant lung cancers um, is a form of lung cancer that occurs in about 10% of non-small cell lung cancer. SMARC-A4 is a gene that encodes the protein BRG1, and this is the core ATPase in a large chromatin remodeling complex known as SWISNF. And when SMARC-A4 is mutated, the ATPase is either dysfunctional or lost, and there's likely a, a gradient of uh, mutations, some being not as deleterious, but truncating or deletions and IHC loss being the most, most uh, pathognomonic and gold standard way of, of diagnosing this, it really leads to absence of BRG1 within this complex. And this, through elegant work in uh, Carla Kim's lab and others here within our institution, leads to replication stress because the chromatin remodeling complex is not able to assemble correctly and lead to proper DNA replication. Because of this mutation, we've, we've known about it for a while, but it's only recently that we're developing clinical trials to target loss of SMARC-A4. The current trial that is most promising is from Prelude Therapeutics, where they developed a SMARC-A2 degrader. So SMARC-A2 is a gene that encodes BRM. And this is thought to be synthetically lethal with uh, SMARC-A4 loss. And so it's currently enrolling patients within our collective institution led by uh, ABI Dagogo Jack at MGH. And this is an IV medicine that is dosed weekly and is currently enrolling both here and in multiple institutions across the, the states uh, and likely globally. Uh, and there's also other SMARC-A2 degrader targeting agents that are coming to the forefront, but also something to be aware of when you are doing your next generation sequencing testing, look at uh, what the SMARC-A4 mutation status of your patients is.